What's going on guys, it's Victory and today we're here to check out another game trailer. Today we're checking out Saints Row Hands Off Preview. This is the continuation from the Saints Row customization trailer that we checked out previously and this was recommended to me to check out uh, because I was still a little skeptical about the game's release. So without further ado we're going to jump in here and check this out, see what the game is continuing to showcase. Party's over, motherfucker. Okay. So we're showcasing some of the gameplay here. Having watched roughly 50 minutes of Saints Row gameplay, I'm encouraged by what I've seen. Volition's reboot of the series looks a lot of fun, filled with the wackiness, carnage and humour you'd expect. It feels comfortably familiar, but with enough new ways to play to make it not just seem like a retread of what's come before. It promises to be a welcome throwback to okay. an era when it, it playful, feels like it'll urban, do a good open job world games were a much more GTA common thing. occurrence. The GTA style. What can I say? The world is full of uninteresting people and I'm not going to be one of them. The first thing that caught my attention was the huge emphasis placed on customization. Everything from your playable oh, boss, that's what a I'm huge liking. range of vehicles, mm -hmm. arsenal of weaponry, and your base can be tailored to your own designs. This music's a Car bit customization much. <laughs> in particular looks substantial, with everything from paint jobs to neon underglows available. The character creator is also extensive, very well giving players the option to create just about anything base. human just the shaped you their mind can the imagine. The you can also completely overhaul the look now. of your character at any time. Simply Which open the in-game phone app to perform the most advanced exist, cosmetic like surgery GTA. known to man. In a weird um, way, it reminded me of The Sims as play. you build a library of characters, each with their own backstory you've made up in your head to take control of. However, the setting is less SimCity and more Sin City. The world of Saints Row is a fictional okay. depiction of the American Southwest and looks colourful and bustling with life. The main city of Santo Eliso, a well-observed riff on Reno, Nevada, is a perfect oh, example of this awesome. as little vignettes play out <laughs> as you stroll down the street. A band might start playing out this of nowhere, or you may even decide to provide the music yourself by pulling out a guitar oh, to that's entertain cool. or annoy I've always the liked, I've always wanted It's this mix of semi-realistic setting and knowing silliness do. that made the same throw games that what kind they of were. Of Distinct sandboxes need. where anarchic behaviour is not only encouraged, it's often required. Tonally, Saints Row fits somewhere in I hope between the, the second and third of the original series. Was, Not quite. Saints Row appears to offer a much more rural setting than you might expect. Large swaths of desert punctured with pockets of civilization fill the map. It is and it a all beautiful looks pretty good too, as dust Com and sand especially is kicked up into the every cactus bit of, you fly uh, by. These large open areas look set to be where Saints Row's vehicles shine, with fully revamped driving mechanics which borrow from familiar Ooh, favorites. Nice. Games from the mid 2000s were never shy of taking successful gameplay quirks Nitro. and dropping them into theirs, and that legacy continues here. Side swiping into other cars Ooh. conjures flashbacks of burnout on PS2, See, this is cool. while ejecting from a speeding car, deploying a wingsuit and hijacking another is a staple of just cause. I've even seen hints of a Back to the Future the style wings. hoverboard. One thing See, Saints Row I has always benefited from stuff. is its that's, fast that's range of unique weapons, me. and that's no different here. I've seen guns that shoot bullets through walls as if they're paper, finger guns that fire bullets from giant foam hands, yeah, and my favourite, the Frostbuster, a throwable like football that sticks blaster. onto enemies and vehicles, sending them flying into the air before exploding into tiny pieces. Every weapon, even I the do more like conventional that. There's a lot ones, of have their own unlockable the signature then, abilities which is all too, it really needs. such as turning a simple pistol why I still into a quick fire machine the pistol with the click of a button. Of as you'd expect, the action and violence is all very cartoony. It looks fluid too, and finishing <laughs> off an enemy with their own weapon before diving feet first into a nearby car for a quick escape, then climbing onto the roof to fend off chasers while car surfing looks very slick. This Enemies do look a so bit bullet spongy, and if some taking there's, several there's shots in the game head to take down, free time, and it's often not, completely fun, ridiculous, but, uh, but that's always online, been part it? of Saints Row's charm. There are also collectibles to find around the world too, some of which can be used to That's redecorate cool. your church base, further driving home the point of Saints Row being full of character and encouraging you to stamp some of your own character on its world. This might, There's this, a lot this going on in Saints Row then, lot, and actually. all of it will be fully playable in drop-in and out co-op too, to realize whether it all comes together to make for a great time before it's August 23rd release date is hard to know, especially but as I'm yet to actually GTA play it. From what I've seen so far though, I'm hopeful. Saints Row is looking like like a fun throwback and finger guns crossed, it feels exactly like that. For more All on right. Saints Row, check out our latest trailer of the game.
Well, that was definitely a worthwhile adventure. And we have learned a lot more about this game, genuinely. All right, Saints Row might very well be the game that replaces GTA until GTA 6 comes out. I do think that the game will be good. I do think the devout fans for this franchise are very blessed to have received such a nice game uh, this time around. And I do think I could see this game stealing a lot of GTA's current fan base, at least for the time being. So, I mean, do I have confidence that GTA could easily pull them back with a good expansion or the release of their new game? Absolutely. But Saints Row is about to use this gap and shine in it, which is the which is the beautiful thing about it. Obviously, we're coming up real soon on the release date. Saints Row comes out August 23rd, 2022. So it's right around the corner. So we'll be able to check it out and maybe stream it or play it here on the channel uh, or both. And... Um, Maybe we'll have a lot more fun uh, on stream goofing off than we will playing it for the story. But that'll be fine, because that's what this game seems to be all about. But without further ado, I've been Victory and I've rambled on long enough about this game. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.